Tiger Driver Collectibles, the largest Porasu figures and collectibles archive on the web. Hello wrestling fans and welcome back to Tiger Driver Collectibles, your source for everything Porasu on the web. So, I just got a new parcel in from Good Small Shop the other day. Two new 16D figures that were just released came here in record time and I'm super excited to open them. So, without further ado, let's go right to it. So, sealed up nice, secure, customs and all that. Let's just open the box. Please be careful when you do this, guys. For your safety and also for the figures as well inside. Simple open. Now, if you can see, I'm not too happy with the lack of bubble wrap, but the figures look like they arrived intact. And if you don't know already, on the left, it's Mitsuharu Misawa, and on the right, Bruiser Brody. So, let's get rid of the packaging here. Move this box out of the way and let's take a look at the figures themselves so first and foremost we have one of the four pillars we have Mitsuharu Misawa doing the rolling elbow here great packaging lots of product photography you have the profile you have his date of birth where he came from his debut his size and weight and also you have the signature attacks so, that's the first one. And of course, the one I was waiting for since I believe October, Bruiser Brody. This is the first time actually Bruiser was sculpted by Howe, which is the figure maker for the 16D line, originally for the Howe collection line. And before that, I believe he did the prototypes for K1's MDK line back in 1998. So, let's look at the figures outside of the packaging. Just like Funko Pops, I'm not too big on the packaging for 16Ds. Yes, they can be stacked up. Um, they have great window style packaging, but opening them, I'm not too big on. Especially around here, you would be very careful when opening because like Funkos, you could bend the packaging more or less. I try to open from the sides and it's not always so, uh, successful. So let's try very carefully from the angles here. Oh, and we've already, as you can see, bent. But anyway, take the clamshell out, move off to the side. As you can see, each figure comes with this special plastic. And there's also little seals there that puncture in. And you open up. So here's Mitsuharu Misawa doing a rolling elbow. This is actually a smaller version of Misawa that was released by Howe, part of the Howe collection, I think, back in 2007, one of the very last figures Howe did for pro wrestling for quite some time before rebooting the series. I love the silver accents that continue on to Misawa's boots. And if you look at the sole of Misawa's boots, you can see copyright Noah, pro wrestling Noah. There's articulation at the waist, arms, nothing on the wrists, and the head. So a great figure, a great re-release. Now, let's look at Bruiser Brody. Put that there like that. Bruiser, same thing. Ooh, flimsy packaging. I was trying to open it earlier off camera. Not working out too well. Move from the plastic. And as you already noticed, Bruiser comes with a chain accessory, actual die cast, wrapped around his knuckles. So neatly organized. We're going to move away the clamshell. Bruiser's doing a pointed pose. There's plastic that wraps up the chain there, nice and organized. 
And when you move away the chain, or plastic I should say, there is Bruiser with the chain already out. It's two separate pieces right there linked to one. Nothing you can really do besides chain. I thought it would be more versatile. I think with a little pressure you could move it out, but I think for the time being I'm going to keep the chain as is. There is no articulation in Bruiser's neck since his beard basically connects to his chest and to his shoulders, but his arms move up and down, so there's some articulation there. There's articulation in Bruiser's other arm. There's articulation in the waist. Nothing from the leg warmers down, as most Japanese figures. Uh, if you look to the back of the figure, you can see Bruiser Brody has his hair tied back, which is reminiscent of how Bruiser, uh, excuse me, Bruiser looked in the 1980s. I love the facial expression, and if you look really closely in the forehead, you can see gig marks. So. I'd say out of all of the figures released of Bruiser Brody, this is probably the most detailed to date, um, even more so than the car pro figures of the early to uh, mid-2000s. Scale-wise, Bruiser is about 5 inches tall, just like Misawa, and to give you a size-by-size -size comparison, Misawa is noticeably smaller. So that's reflective of their real-life heights, which is good, there is differentiation there. So that's it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more pro wrestling figures, insider tips, and everything to do with the world of Japanese pro wrestling right here on Tiger Driver Collectibles.